everyone! Welcome to Eat Me Recipes. Today I'll be showing you how to make this frito style sweet chili pasta chips. The ingredients for this recipe is in the description box below and there you will also find a link for the full written step-by-step -step recipe which is on eatmerecipes.co.za. First we're going to start with the sweet chili seasoning. So add chili powder to a bowl. Add in salt. Monosodium glutamate, which is MSG, onion powder, garlic powder, ginger powder, and icing or confectionery sugar. Give it a good mix until all the ingredients are well incorporated. Now we're going to set the sweet chili seasoning aside until ready to use. Next we're going to place a pot on the stove top and fill it up with water. Add in salt to taste and allow the water to come to a boil on medium heat. Once the water comes to a boil, add in fusilli pasta. Give it a quick stir. and allow the pasta to boil until al dente. Once the pasta is cooked, turn off the heat. Remove the pasta from the heat and strain in a colander. Thereafter, you want to transfer the pasta into a bowl. Next, we're going to add in that sweet chili seasoning. Pour in some olive oil and mix that up until the pasta is fully coated in the spices. Once that's done, you want to open up your air fryer. Drop the seasoned pasta into the air fryer basket. Use a spoon and spread the pasta out evenly. Pop the tray back into the air fryer. Set the time for 10 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. Each air fryer will vary with temperature, so make sure to toss the pasta every now and again. Once done, remove the tray from the air fryer. These pasta chips are ready to be served. As you can see, they are super crispy. And I must admit that mine got a bit charred, so make sure to check the pasta chips in between to prevent it from burning. The texture isn't going to be the same as fritos because fritos is corn chips and this is pasta chips. But the sweet chili seasoning is definitely on point. I also did a little bit of the ASMR for you guys, so enjoy the crunch. Just a quick reminder, the quantities are in the description box below. And there you will also find the direct link for the full written recipe, which is on eatmerecipes.co.za. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also drop some recipe requests in the comment section. And I will try to do those recipes as soon as I can. Enjoy!